So today is Saturday, and I was going to make an attempt in telling the story about the airport when my sister and I flew to Hong Kong in March. As you know, I have had um, numerous encounters um, and events happen in airports, and this this was just in contrast. Um, but Today, I decided to show you stuff instead because um, I went to the knitting store again. And I had, you remember, I had to take my Addy, and they're not right in front of me, my Addy needles, the circular needles, back because um, they were rough on both tips and on the metal part where it attaches to the cord. And... I expected to have a problem as usual, but the woman just said, of course, just take another, grab another one, let's have a look and make sure that they're okay. And when I showed her, there were two little nubby things on the end where the uh, needle attaches to the cord and it felt like solder had dripped on the, the two ends. So anyway, she exchanged those and I bought these two Brittany needles six and nine and uh, where's my ball here is my ball of uh cotton that i got from uh, michael's actually um it was only like a dollar fifty for this ball and it will make one dishcloth so i am going to work on that um and I'm excited to have a project instead of just blindly stitching along. Stitching? Knitting along. I wanted to talk about this movie, The Cove. Um, Pat and I watched it last night. And um, it's about the slaughter of dolphins in Japan. And it was a stressful movie to watch, actually. You know, I am a firm believer that, um, you know, we eat meat, I eat meat, not everybody eats meat, but I eat meat, I eat lamb, I eat rabbit, I eat um, veal, I eat fish, shrimp, things from the sea. Um, but this, the way that the, it was distressing. And in fact, it has encouraged me to go to the website um, and show support to those who are trying to stop the slaughter as it takes place in Japan. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Another thing I wanted to show, and do you see my... No, you can't. I have a ladybug glass thing. And I'm only showing this because Ms. PJ Matilda was talking about her ladybugs again. So that's my ladybug, which I never wear because this chain has a cross on it and that's what I wear. But anyway, I also, and I think I've showed this before, but Pam may not have seen it. So I'll show it again. Um, and it's a piece of cross stitch that I did uh, a while ago. I'll um anyway, it's cross stitch. Um and it looks almost three dimensional because of the way it is. Uh it's not, it's just, you know, um uh, maybe that's better lighting. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to show that. It's a piece that um I probably should frame because I think personally it's, um, well, I was going to use the word extraordinary, but that's probably self-serving and God forbid the last thing I am is self-serving. Usually. Sometimes I am. Um, anyway, I will be back again. I am anxious to go because I want to see if I can figure out the pattern. I have two patterns. One is from Lion's Brand Yarn website, and they have three or four patterns for 
dishcloths. And I have another one, Idiot's Dishcloth, which is apparently quite simple. But I have to say, I haven't learned how to increase or decrease yet, so I guess I will be on my way to learn that. I'm attaching two little pictures of Vienna at the end of the remarks and a picture of, actually I have three things to attach at the end, two pictures of Vienna a, and two wildlife little video shots if I can do it. I'll be back. That's it. That's all. Little raccoon on the roof. They're supposed to be nocturnal. If it's rabid, it's going to jump off and bite me. <laughs> Go on, do it again. <laughs> 